In this presentation, we'll look at product cost by sales order. We are still in the cost object controlling section. We have previously covered product cost by order, product cost by period, and the third and last section is product cost by sales order. In this presentation, we'll look at configuring and understanding what is product cost by sales order. The product cost by sales order is used for special order scenarios or you can also call it as custom orders or bespoke orders. Now the common terminology in SAP is used as make to order. So when you hear the terminology make to order, it's actually part of product cost by sales order. Just like the word you can see make to order, somebody is requesting you to make something special and that's why you're making as per the order. That's why you call this make to order. Now in our presentations we saw we make one kilogram vanilla cake with icing or one kilogram plain vanilla cake or two kilogram vanilla cakes. These are all standard as part of the product cost by period setting where it's a repetitive manufacturing. So every day you're just going to produce cakes, cakes, cakes or the same cake you're just going to keep on producing. That is either one kilogram vanilla cake or with icing. So it's a repetitive manufacturing environment. Now if there's a special occasion and someone wants you to create a birthday cake or a wedding cake, it's not part of your daily manufacturing process. It is a special process and you need to specially create this birthday cake. So it requires additional effort and additional material. Similarly for a wedding cake, it's not part of your daily process, it's a special order. So those kind of special orders, we call it as a make to order. And this is part of the product cost by sales order. Now the sales order is a key component of the SD module. Just like how you saw purchase order is part of the MM module, the sales order belongs to the SD module, which is your sales and distribution module. Now in this scenario, the sales order acts as a cost object. We saw product cost by order, the production order and process orders act as a cost object for product cost by period, the product cost collector and the cost object hierarchy acts as a cost object and for product cost by sales order, the sales order acts as the cost object. Let's look at the configuration for product cost by sales order. So we are still under the cost object controlling menu in your SAP IMG menu path. Then you have product cost by sales order. So if you expand that, you can see these categories. Basic settings for product cost by sales order is once again just the same as what you saw for the other two product cost by period and order. You get your origin groups, the overhead calculations and everything with regarding to your costing sheet. The same transactions applies here as well. Since we have already done the setting for product cost by period, so we don't have to do this because it's the same transaction and it applies common for all different type of product cost by categories. Then the next setting which you're going to look at is the control of sales order related production slash product cost by sales order. This is what we are concerned with. And if you expand this, you can see a series of transactions. Let's look at the first transaction. The first transaction is check account assignment categories. Short transaction code is OME9. So let's execute this transaction. And I hope you can recall many presentations ago when we were doing the purchase order related configurations, we had come to the same screen. And there we had configured the account assignment category K for the cost center. So in the purchase order, we put the account assignment category K and then we put the necessary values. In that we ensured that the field status group of this account assignment category K is exactly the same as the GL account used in that purchase order. Then only the system will allow you to post any entries in that purchase order. Now similarly, the scenario has changed to our sales order. We need to ensure that we choose the right account assignment categories for our sales order. Now you can see there's one automatically here called C sales order. If I just double click on that, you can see the account assignment category, the field status is shown over here. Then regarding some other information is coming up over here. Now I would just like to, you to note that this field consumption posting. Now this is a very important field and it shows V. Let's see what this V means. So this V shown as consumption. Now when you mean by consumption here and shown as V, this means that the cost incurred via this make to order 
or the sales order will also be in the sales order so the sales order you know carries revenues because it's part of the sd module so